back again on this friggin' thing. Uh -huh. Got. I've seen worse looking welds, so I don't exactly remember when, but I've seen worse. Got her pretty well closed up. And main thing, the door's closed. They stay closed. They might even stay closed when I start twisting the frame around. Who knows? But that'll do it for a bush beater. Especially what I'm doing. Now, I know if I do manage to roll this friggin' thing. Oh, well. Hang on. We'll check the other side, too. I don't have this side quite done yet. But I do have... Uh, I've been busy on it. I'm just ready to wrap up for today. The there, it's not not done up yet, not closed in yet. But even this one, let's see. Doesn't sound as nice, but well, it does close to a fashion. I still got to do a little tweaking. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, I just opened the door up a little bit, put my high lift under there, and started jacking until it was uh, where I wanted it. Well, I still got to do a little more. And even if it ends up like that, I can live with that. As long as it'll stay shut. Just got to slam it. <laughs> Not the heck, dude. It's a bush beater. Yeah, anyhow. I was saying, if I do manage to roll this thing... You know, this, this body might save my head. It might not. So, my neighbor dropped off a little insurance policy. He junked the CJ. That was rotten out, and, and for some reason he kept the roll bar. So what I'll do, I will cut this right in the center, or maybe on one side or something, whatever. Uh, put a sleeve inside or outside, but, you know, take a section out, so it's narrow enough to fit in there, and I ain't gonna just butt weld it all sleeve inside or out, blotty off, friggin' something or other. Uh, that way, hopefully, it's a good, good, strong joint. And then these bottoms will get those will go right to the uh, to the frame on that. So hopefully, between that and the body, I should be all right. <sighs> Coming along. Take care, guys.